Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna be diving into a food styling series. So we're gonna kick off with my favorite food styling tools, and then I've got four different food styling tutorials coming up for you. So today we're gonna to jump in to my favorite tools. These are all things that I use all the time, and they're super budget friendly, easy to get hold of, and really useful. I've also created a free food styling toolkit, which you can download from the description. So without further ado, let's jump into the first tool. So the first tool that we're gonna talk about are some trusty culinary tweezers. Now I have two pairs, one which are straight, just straight tweezers, and the other ones with an offset. And I use both of these all the time. These are so useful when you've got fiddly things to place or you've got things like delicate herbs or leaves or salad that when you touch them too much with your hands, they're gonna get too warm, they're gonna start to wilt, they're gonna lose their shape, or you're just gonna disturb something else on the dish while you're putting that garnish on. So I use these tweezers all the time. I love the fact that they're quite long and they're really easy to maneuver and get things sort of really specifically placed. So that's definitely something Something I recommend you have on hand all the time. So typically I reach for the straight ones when I've just got something that I need to move or put onto a dish. They're just really easy to use. They almost feel like an extension of your own hand. And then typically I'll reach for the offset ones when I've got something with a bit more of an awkward angle or there's something underneath something that I wanna move. So if I'm styling something like a salad with lots of layers, I might wanna use these to get sort of in or, or tuck something in. So these are really useful for those dishes where I just don't wanna disturb something, but I need to get inside. Okay, so next up we have some metal cocktail sticks. So I have about six of these. I've got three gold ones and three silver ones. And I use these not only as replacements for wooden cocktail sticks when I'm actually doing a drink shoot, because I find like a garnish on a metal cocktail stick, it always looks better than a wooden one but I also use these for creating little swirls in things. So if I've done a cream swirl on the top of soup, I might use this just to kind of swirl it a bit more or something like that. So these are kind of a doubled prop and food styling tool. Okay, so next up is one that you probably have heard of before, but I can't not mention it in my essential food styling tools video, and that is paintbrushes. So I have a little set of paintbrushes. Um, they're all quite small, and these are just perfect for brushing on extra oil onto roasted things, or a little bit of water on some vegetables or salad, or anything that you want it to look fresh and out the oven, but maybe it's just lost a little bit of that shine. So I always keep these in just a little pot of oil on hand, and ready to do any little touch-ups. I also use these for things like adding a salad dressing to a salad. So if I'm shooting a salad that has some herbs in it, I might wanna even use the brush to kind of deliberately add a few of those little pieces onto parts of the dish where maybe it just hasn't fallen naturally, where the dressing has gone. So little set of paint brushes, also an essential tool for you. Okay, next up is one that you may not have come across before, and that is this. So I live in Switzerland and Maggie Wurza is one of the most common things that you see around, but I do believe you can buy this all over the world. And if you can't, it's basically a browning liquid. So whatever the equivalent in your country is, that is what this is. So I use this to create stand-ins of almost anything brown. So whether that is tea, coffee, whiskey, champagne, soup broth, you name it, if it's brown, you can create a stand-in with this. And I use it all the time when I'm setting up the lighting, like pre-lighting for a shot. I'm doing a test shoot with my props and I wanna see how my final dish is gonna look, but I don't wanna actually shoot the dish yet. So this, I use it all the time. So I basically just add a few drops to water and adjust the amount that I'm adding depending on what it is that I'm shooting. Okay, next up we have makeup sponges. So no, I do not use these ones to do my makeup. These are the very basic like foamy kind, like not the best quality, but what they are really useful for is cutting and using to prop up things on your set that just aren't playing ball. Like, you know how it is when you have something on a dish and it keeps rolling over, it's just not sitting right, and you think, oh, if there was just something underneath it, 
it would be perfect. So that's where these come in. So I keep these on hand with a pair of scissors and I cut off basically however much I need. Often just a small amount is fine. So a couple of these will last me a really long time. So I can just pop a little bit under something so it's hidden and then everything on the dish is sitting exactly how I want it to. Okay, next up we have blue tack or white tack or putty, whatever you call it. Basically this stuff that you buy from a stationery store that normally you would use for, you know, pinning up a piece of paper on, on a wall. But this is so useful for, similar to the makeup sponges, things that don't wanna stay where they want to, but where a makeup sponge or something like that isn't practical. So often if I'm doing things like balancing a pair of chopsticks on the side of a bowl, just adding a couple of tiny little spots of this underneath is just gonna mean they're gonna stay, they're not gonna roll off. I can really play around with the position and get it precise and just know that it's gonna stay where I want it to. It's also great for any other kinds of use utensils that you might be putting around your set. Also for styling napkins, if you've got a particular fold that you want to keep exactly where it is, pop a piece of this in and kind of stick it and you'll get that really nice flowy fold without relying on it just lying perfectly, which we all know they never do. Okay, next I have a couple of very small mister spray bottles. So these spray a really fine mist. And I normally have two of these on hand. One with just plain water, which is great for just spraying on salads, vegetables, anything that's just looking a little bit tired. Sometimes I even just spray it on the garnishes that I've got to the side, just to make sure that they're staying nice and fresh before I need them. And then in the other bottle, I will have a 50-50 mix of glycerin and water. Water. And this is the more sort of styling liquid. So that mixture is perfect when you need to create a condensation on something that you need to last. So if I'm doing a product shot of a bottle or a can or even a piece of fruit, you wanna have that really cold, crisp look and you don't want that condensation to go anywhere, that 50-50 mix of glycerin and water is gonna spray on and then stay for a really long time. So I recommend having a couple of those. I just got these from the travel section of my local drugstore. So really nothing fancy, but just make sure it's one that has a very fine mist and not a big spray. And last up is not really a food styling tool, but more my storage method for them. So I always want these tools to be easily accessible right on hand when I'm in the studio. I need to bring them with me quickly wherever I need them. So I have a little wheelie cart that I got from Ikea. It has three different levels and a lid on top so I can kind of pull out what I need and have it on the top and I can just wheel it around with me. Like it's so convenient, it's lightweight, it's a fun color, which is a bonus. I just find having this stocked at all times with all these tools and any sort of other little essentials like salt and pepper, a bit of oil, things that I just wanna have on hand quickly, it's really handy. So that is my list of my favorite top food styling tools. Do let me know in the comments which one you think you might like to try or your favorite food styling tool if you have something else. Don't forget to download your free food styling toolkit. The link is down in the description. Like this video if you liked it and I will see you next week for our first food styling tutorial.